Hey guys, welcome to another one Show review. Today I'm going to try something brand new. Uh, we bought this at Kroger for $3.50. It's the Oprah That's Good. Uh, this is the broccoli cheddar soup. And like I said, these are new. Um, $3.50, that's not bad for the size soup you get. I mean, it's a pretty good size soup. I mean, it's, it's more expensive than a can of soup, but um, but it's not bad. Um, there's 16 ounces, or one pound of soup. And again, this is broccoli cheddar with a twist of butternut squash. And I read the back. Basically what they did was um, they replaced some of the cheese with a uh, butternut squash puree and and it's they said it still adds some uh adds some veggies but also uh keeps the cheese flavor so that that sounds good so the the serving size is eight and a half ounces and like i said this is a 16 ounce bowl so per serving it's 200 calories so there, it's about two servings if you were to double it it would be four but in reality it's like 376 or so so 376 calories if you eat the whole thing, which I don't think that's too bad because, like I said, it's a pretty good size thing of soup. Um, there's the other calories for you, and I mean, the other information for you. Sodium's, um, I mean, you're down double that, so it's 80% of your um, sodium minus a little bit, so uh, it's quite a bit of sodium. So cooking direction, there's the what it's talking about, um, nutritious food and all that good stuff. There's the ingredients. Uh, Mealtime store, stories. So microwave, remove the lid, peel back the film to vent, microwave for two minutes, stir, replace the film and microwave for another minute until it's heated through. And then it says, make sure you stir it before serving. And it just kind of distributes the heat evenly. Um, you let it sit for a minute though before you actually eat it. So um, I am gonna put a paper plate and probably a paper towel underneath there, just in case it boils over because it almost always boils over on me. Um, it's just always the case for some reason. So there it is. There's probably a lip right here to grab somewhere. No, they don't give you much. That's it. That's what they give you to grab. So um, it seems like there'd be a, like a more of a pull tab than that. But I don't know if I could get it with one hand. Yeah, I can't. So anyway, I'm gonna pull this up to vent it. Um, like I said, it doesn't have any bigger pull. That's kind of disappointing. It should have a little bit more of a pull tab for you to pull on. Uh, it wouldn't take that much to cut a little flap on there. Anyway, um, I'm going to vent this, get it in the microwave. Like I said, I'm going to put it on a paper plate with a paper towel on top of that just in case it boils over, which it probably will. Um, and I'll let you know if it does or not, but I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And you can see it's got uh, quite a bit of broccoli and it's got carrots in it. I mean, there's some good sized pieces of broccoli in there. It smells like broccoli casserole. That's what it kind of smells like. It's that uh, broccoli cheesy smell. Um, it's it's super super hot though, so uh, you have to let it cool off for a little while. Stir it up a little bit. Uh, I did let it sit for a minute covered, so I'm gonna actually take this bite up and hold it up and blow on a little bit to let it cool off. But it, it smells really really good, and you get a lot of soup there. Okay, it probably hasn't cooled off enough, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So here we go. It's got broccoli, plenty of the sauce, and um, a carrot or two on the on the spoon. So here we go. It was cool off enough. Really good cheese sauce. Um, I like the flavor of the broccoli. It's really good. The carrots are good. Two things I forgot to mention. Um, well, one big thing is it did not boil over at all. So that was really good. I didn't need the plate. I still put it under there just to make sure. Um, plus it gives you a place to lay the plastic thing after you, when you pull it off. Um, the plastic thing is kind of still hard to get off though. So once you loosen it up a little bit, it's, it's fine. But um, it, did, uh, it, it didn't boil over. So that's a good thing. So let me try one more bite. What's um, it's got a good flavor to it. What's surprising is, it's full of the actual florets, the green, the green part on the top, and there are some stems, but not a lot. There's, it's mostly the top uh, floret part, which is really good because that means it costs a little bit more. You know, the stems only is cheap. Uh, they can put stems in something and it's relatively cheap. Um, the florets cost a little bit more, and and this is full of it, and it's full of the cheese sauce. It's good. It doesn't taste like a broccoli casserole because I like it. That's Velveeta and super, super cheesy um, for us at least. That's how we make it. But this is really, really good. Um, definitely a good quality. Like I said, the, the broccoli is really good. The carrots are cooked really well. I like the broccoli. It's, it's smushy, but it's not like really crunchy. It's not too smushy. So I like that. It's just right. Um, yeah, overall, it's a really good flavor. If you got, if you could, afford the calories you could get some um 
crackers, like Ritz crackers or something to put in here. I know that would just add tremendous amount of uh, calories to it, but it would be really good with Ritz crackers. So uh, by itself, it's really good. With Ritz crackers, it'd be really good. So I'm gonna give this, it's not something I would wanna eat all the time. I'm not a big soup eater. I don't wanna eat soup every day of the week by any means, but flavor-wise, quality-wise, um, it's really, really good. This is gonna be a four and a half at the minimum. If it was something I would eat all the time, I'd probably give it a five because it really is that good. But uh, for me, it, it's just not something I would you know, eat all the time, but it is really good. So if you go like broccoli cheddar soup, um, you should definitely try this out. Like I said, we got it at Kroger. It, that was the other thing I was gonna tell you. It did not boil over and it's a refrigerated meal, not a frozen meal. So this is in the refrigerated section at, in our Kroger, it was in one of those little middle sections in front of like the meat cabinet and where the uh, sausages and lunch meat and all that stuff, that's where it was at. Uh, for your Kroger, who knows, but that's where it was at, it was in the refrigerated section. Um, my only complaint is, and it's really not a, a major complaint, it would be nice if they put directions on the lid just to print it on the directions. I know that's a minor thing, but when once you've taken it and pulled the lid up and you're trying to see the lid directions, you have to kind of turn the thing up. Minor thing, I know. The biggest thing was they should put a tab on there to where you can grab it easier to open it. That was my really the only big complaint I have. But yeah, definitely a four and a half. It's really, really good. Definitely should try it out. I'll catch you next time.